We remind you that you're watching the National Bantaba Forum coming to you from the Gambia Radio and Television Services. And before going further, we'd like to acknowledge the presence of uh, certain personalities. And um, we have in our midst uh, Mr. Pate Ja. Pate Ja is the Deputy Permanent Secretary, PMO. We also have um, Madam Amikan, uh, Principal Economist Finance, and Dr. Henry Carroll. I don't uh, even need to uh, introduce him. Uh, anyway, he is the representative from the Ministry of uh, Justice. We have Mr. Ibrahim Abari, the valuer, and uh, Mr. Gabu Mendi, Director, Directorate of National Treasury, and Mr. Mudunjai, who is also the Director of Health Promotion Ministry of Health and uh, Social Welfare. And now, we go back to Mr. Federer. We are talking about um, a revolving scheme. What is this revolving scheme all about? Thank you once again, um, Kijan. Um, to get to that question, I think it's important to put in, the, in, in its real context so that people will understand it better, because this is a critical issue. Now, since 1994, when His Excellency the President of the Republic, uh, Professor Jammi, took over, we all witnessed, he made it extremely clear, abundantly clear, that the status quo in the civil service is not an option. He observed it, he understood it, and he wanted to change, reform, so that the public service would respond adequately to the needs of our people so that the, the service delivery will be qualitative. Our people, the quality that they deserve. They get what they deserve. So that uh, policy pronouncement of the president set into motion a series of um, policy initiatives and tools, all geared towards improving the capacity of government to deliver its mandate to, its, to the people. One key area, there are a whole lot of issues, but one key area that came out on top is for government to be able to attract qualified, deserving, and loyal Gambians who are ready, who understood the vision and mission of the, of the government and wish to take part in it to develop this country. So he said, we, you don't only have to attract them, but you also have to create a, a, a conducive environment to make sure they stay and perform the job that they are out to perform. So to do this, a whole lot of issues are relevant. But one key area is the creation of incentives. We train, we do a lot of capacity building. And in fact, one time I spoke, I've, I've spoken with one of the development partners, and he said to me, the government's, the government, this government has undertaken so much capacity building to the extent that we are now become victims of our own success in that area. That's a diplomatic way of telling us that, to, to, uh, diplomatic way of telling us that what the president says is what, is, what, is it, what you need to do. That is not only train people, but create the right environment so that they stay. They don't go to other areas, they stay and perform better. So one area is this loan, that's, that's what brings about this loan scheme, uh, Tijan. So uh, one of the innovative uh, policy strategies, retention strategies, is the evolution of this, uh, uh, this uh, um, revolving loan scheme. And this has been around before, even in the First Republic. But the magnitude was lower and it went off for a long time. So, as part of our policy deliberations, 
this has been going around in all our dialogues, our policy dialogues. But we made little headway until a cabinet paper was prepared and it got to the president himself. And he looked at this and said, this is important and I want this done and I'm going to give it personal support. We all know the rest of the story. Since he came on board, we have been working together as a team with all the sectors and we put together a governance structure which we have just distributed to you. This was prepared setting out the need for the, for the fund, the requirements, the, the products themselves, they are all here. Somebody is going to give you the details on that one. We have principally three products, housing loan, personal loan, and car loan. Everything is extremely clear here. This went to cabinet, and it was approved by cabinet. So it was important that this be communicated to all stakeholders. Because one of the issues Haiti himself has made very clear was that when you are implementing this scheme, make sure no one is disadvantaged, especially at the lower level. And we at the PMO and the board of directors that are selected to handle this issue. We want to make this a, a service-wide issue. Two heads are better than one. That's why we are always interested in dialogue and sharing and distributing all the issues so that we can get to input. And since we started, we have received a lot of uh, 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 um, applications which have not met our requirements. And in some areas, we have not even received applications. So even though we have circulated this, the governance structure, and we have asked that this structure be made available to everybody. So this was why the board said, well, let's accept the invitation from GRTS so that we can communicate with all of you. All stakeholders will know about this. And people who live far away from Banjul, when they want to come over to apply for any of the products, they will be well informed. So you don't have to come all the way from Basse and come here and you are told that this X, Y, Z you should have brought is not here. So communication is important. This is why we want to share this. And also to let you all know that this is going to be implemented transparently. There is very little discretion for the board or, the, for, or for, for secretariat also in handling this. Everything is clearly out here that we just gave you. Read it properly, and we will welcome questions from you. And when you understand it also, share it with the rest of the, your, your colleagues. Everybody is entitled. There are limitations here and there. Whoever is entitled, no one will stop you. Although there are problems, because we don't have enough funds at this onset to give everybody. Hechi, in the positive intervention he made, finance has made available to us 25 million dollars. And that's already in our custody. So we are out to make sure that this goes out to you, but in the right way. Obviously, not everybody will get. The, loan, the housing loan is such that you cannot give just few thousands of someone say this house is loan as it has been operated in the past. Or a car loan, you know, few thousands to give to you and then you go and get a you know second hand, not roadworthy vehicle. That's not what we want. This is a revolving loan scheme. It's here to stay now with the support of the government. Therefore everybody will have your turn. They are made pe not if all the applications that are coming, we the baggage that have come in, it been, it, they, everything, has, everything has been reviewed. And we are making sure that those who have met the requirements get this. And those who don't get it now, doesn't mean you don't get it the second, round, second time around. So look around. The requirements that you have not fulfilled, make sure you fulfill it. Because this is also public, public funds. We have to make sure that we know where it is going. And we have all the rights, guidelines, and the securities necessary to make sure we recover for sustainability. So, Tian, yep. this is important. I just want to set the stake like this. I'm sure all of you have your questions or your contributions. We'll come around again and again and hammer this home as much as we can. I thank you so much. Well, thank you so very much, um, uh, Mr. Fadera.